Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by here and joining me for another planner video. It's your girl, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I'm going to be setting up um, a daily agenda sheet for myself for today. And I think you're going to be seeing this video on Friday but i'm actually filming this on sunday it's april the third sunday and i have the whole day stretching ahead of me um weekends are always super busy for me um but i figured i'd set up a daily agenda sheet using this new block pad that i picked up from hobby lobby and i'm really excited to try it out for the first time so if you're interested in seeing how i set up my daily agenda page for a weekend uh, for sunday just keep on watching all right so hopefully this video won't be too long because i feel like i've filmed i've been filming for the last like three hours all my videos are like 30 to 40 minutes long today for some reason but let's okay less chatty chatty and more writing so first off I picked up this block pad from Hobby Lobby. This is one of their new like releases from the spring release and it's in that bold and bright collection which I am obsessed with. I love the designs. I love bold and bright so much. Love the polka dots, black and white polka dots on the side here. The color blocking on the very edge of the paper pad. It's so graphic. It's so bright and bold and fun. And I love the long to-do list, the grid section, the blue box here, the little plan your best life quote. Awesome, beautiful, knocked it out of the park with this one. I also picked up the accompanying bold and bright sticker book. So I'm gonna be using this guy to set up what I have to do um, today. And let's get into it. Um, this is gonna be very much like a working, like a, working battle plan like this is how i actually use my planner system and sometimes i want to just uh i just want to um like brain dump everything onto one like control center i have i think 17 16 17 different planners that i'm using right now and um sometimes i just want to like condense everything into one like sheet so that way i'm not like flipping through every single planner how i set up my like my daily agenda sheet is on days that i'm really really busy and i have a lot of things that i want to do i go through all of my planners and i see what needs to get done and i write it all down on this like long to-do list so i'm gonna just have my planner here off camera and i'm just gonna be well actually you know what let me see if i can like actually have it here on the side can you see that yeah you can kind of see it so i want to i want to show you like how i actually like use my planners all right so let's start off with my first planner i'm gonna go through them and like have a whirlwind tour um okay the first thing that i want to do let's see it's already okay so we're on the third sunday so i'm going to be looking at this page um so the first thing I'm gonna do for my first planner section, I do sometimes do like a little bit of work um, over the weekends to for my like my research because sometimes I just need to like have something like submitted uh, so that it's like analyzing and processing over the night and I can like start Monday f like with already the analysis finished. So I do want to do. Um, this genetic analysis and uh and have that submitted and running like on the computer cluster over the weekend or i mean over the night so monday come monday i have like the job finish it's only literally gonna take me like five minutes to do maybe 15 minutes it's just a matter of like getting the script all ready and submitting it so i already know what i have to do for it so i just need to do it i just need to like Sometimes it just takes me a minute to like re-enter the computer world and like get back onto my terminal and like start doing computer programming after like a few days of not computer programming. It literally just always takes me like a, a minute to get back in. 
Okay, so that's that. Moving on to my second planner. This is my teaching planner. I have a lot of things that I need to do to teach uh, for teaching over the weekend. I tend to do all of my like teaching work on the weekend. So that way I free up my entire week just to do like my scientific research stuff. So what I need to do is um, I need to grade the quizzes. Grade. I'm going to try to get that done today grade student quizzes I also need to print um, student documents they have like a bunch of lab reports and stuff that some of them emailed me that I need to print and this kind of goes hand in hand with grading because once I print them I have to grade them and uh, I want to input grades Mm, should I do that? Yeah, let's just let's just go all all out. Input grades. I gotta like once I grade them, I gotta input all the grades. And then what else do I wanna do? I wanna create the quiz. They're they're quizzing um this week, so create the quiz. And I also wanna clear my inbox as well so clear inbox well honestly uh, I have two inboxes so I need to clear both of them and then also for work um, I need to review these videos that uh, we filmed over the past two weeks and decide which clips we want to include in the latest um in the in the final cut this is like a multimedia production project i've been working on as part of like my part time with the graduate division i do communications and outreach work i yeah i work i tend to work a lot all right so that's all my work stuff that i want to do that's definitely going to take me a few hours um the the, the grading and the the teacher stuff is going to take me a few hours and then the reviewing videos might take me two hours to do I also need to check, uh, let's see, gotta check my inbox to see if my boss emailed me, let's see, no he didn't, okay, alright, so that probably means that we're gonna shoot to do this by Thursday, that's good, maybe I'll only work like an hour on these videos. All right, and then moving on to my science communication planner. Um, I need to go to Barnes and Nobles because I need to um, I need to pick up a book, like a science education book um, about climate change. I I've been kind of like for science communication work, how I like. A lot of the work that I do for like our social media campaigns is to like I'll read like some kind of you know um, climate justice or social justice environmental justice related work and then I'll like draw things like I'll make political cartoons based off what I read and I share that stuff on our social media and um, it's hard for me to just kind of pull things out of the air to like draw things about. So what I like to do is like I read a book and then I'm like, I'll be inspired by what it is I'm reading. There's a couple of climate um, change books that I've been kind of eyeing. And so I need to just bite the bullet and pick one up. I might do some research about what are, what's a good climate change book. So I'm gonna go to Barnes and Nobles, and then let's see. All right, uh, what else? World news. This is my fourth planner. I need to read some articles. So a uh, world news check. I might read mm, two to three articles that might take me an hour to do and journal about and then my let's see this is my fourth planner spirituality i always forget for spirituality that reminds me i have a video idea let's see so where's my four lizard video idea 
let's see, let's see. <laughs> this is very much like how I operate. This is kind of a mess. I'm sorry if you're like not sure what's going on. So I just had a video idea. And so whenever I have a video idea, I quickly grab my other mega planner where I have uh, I think seven other planners and then I popped I write down what my video idea was and so I have like a section for brainstorming I actually set up this entire like weekly setup um, on video I filmed a video for it and hopefully I published it on Wednesday according to my filming plan but here in the section I brainstorm and because I want to leave these boxes for like brainstorming sessions on Tuesday and Thursday. I'm just going to write it down here. And my video idea is to film um, a queen of wands uh, tarot journaling journaling plan with me. So at the beginning of the year, I gave myself a yearly spread with my tarot cards and every month I selected a tarot, a tarot card, you know, randomly. And it's that spread I do, it's like tradition for me to do it at, on the first day of every year. And I select 13 cards, one for each month, one and one to represent like the overall year. And, um, at the beginning of the month, I like return to that tarot spread and like I see um, like what card I drew and then that is, so that card is like the tone, it sets the tone for the month. So this month for April, I ended up picking the Queen of Wands and so that's exciting. She's a really beautiful card. So I'm, exciting to, I'm excited to see what's going on this month with my Queen of Wands card. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to write that idea down for a potential video idea. Um, for my faith planner, I like to journal about my tarot card here in this like monthly overview section. So it'd be fun to do that on camera. And then for spirituality, okay, we need to get back to like what I'm doing today. For spirituality, um, I do kind of want to do a tarot a tarot reading or like an oracle card so or oracle card reading i do want to do that and it's going to take me like 10 minutes to do that but i do want to like set an intention to do that and then lastly fitness i do want to go on a two mile run I'd need to do a 15 minute stretch and I want to do a 30 minute legs workout. So I want to get onto my fitness. So that's my workout for today. I want to get that done. Uh, I wanted to do that on Friday and it just didn't happen. I might do it right after. Um, I finish filming and then for wellness I do want to do some wellness journaling I think that's gonna be good for me so wellness journaling let's do that and then oh Saturday I need to fill in my mood tracker this video is all over the place but um, let's see, this is my mood tracker here. Let's see. I felt pretty good yesterday. I would say I felt almost all good. I did have like a little bit of anxiety. And by the time it was like 5 p.m. I was feeling a little bit tired so I'll color the rest of the bunny there but it wasn't too bad for the most of the day I felt pretty good with that mood tracker wellness okay and then we're moving on to my farmhouse <gasps> This is my household planner. Okay, household planner. So many things that I need to do. Um, aquarium maintenance, that's a big thing. 
frame maintenance, um, clean car. I have to um, clear it out, uh, organize the garage. Um, tidy desk and vanity. I want to wash my dog, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Mm. Clear backyard. There's a bunch of stuff out there and I want to fix. Uh, clean my glass mirrors on my closet. Got to do that. And then I ran out of room. Look at my long ass to do list. So I'm just going to go ahead and give myself more items here. This is going to be like the mother of all to do lists. It's going to be a long day, but I like keeping myself busy, you know? Otherwise, I'm just fucking around on my phone, not doing shit. So I love having like a long to-do list. It helps me keep myself occupied. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to polish my vanity. Uh, empty trash cans. I'll probably do that like the last thing I do before I go to bed because um, the trash can, uh, the trash come tomorrow. Empty trash cans. Should I wash books? Yeah, let's try to wash books. It's my dog. And then clean fireplace. It would be nice to have a fire, like to celebrate all that I did by having a nice fire. A laundry, I wanna do laundry. Okay, so we have that. That's everything for my household for today. Um, walk bugs. Don't forget to do that. I need to wash his bowls. Wash bowls. And then Oh, you know what? I wanted to go to Best Buy. Best Buy run. I need to buy my boyfriend a birthday gift. I'm getting him a Kindle and I probably want to ship that out this coming week. Um, so actually I might grab my weekly desk pad and then ship Steven's package. Because he also came to visit me last week from Texas. We're in a long distance relationship. He came to visit me and he forgot a bunch of stuff at my place, including his electric toothbrush, which that would, you know, that sucks not to have that. So um, I think he's just been using a, like a regular old toothbrush, but I do want to send that to him. So best by run. And then what else do I need to do? Um, okay, so next planner is my meal prep planner, and actually I can go ahead and uh, write down some stuff here. Mm, about 400, and then, so for breakfast I had my bully rayena which was about probably i would say 400 calories i had a pan dulce this is a mexican sweet bread and i would say I, that was about 300 calories i also had coffee which um let me see where's my coffee stamp Here it is. I have this little coffee stamp that I like to um, I like to use. I'm trying to reduce my coffee intake, so it helps me to know. Um, the little stamp gives me an idea of when I'm having coffee. So there we go, coffee. Um, and then for lunch, that is yet to come. I'll probably do a green smoothie, honestly. So I'm draw my little smoothie here. I don't know what what kind of smoothie I'll make, but 
probably make a smoothie. So for meal prepping, um, I need to uh, grocery shop. So grocery shop. And I also need to meal prep. Mm, I need to meal prep the karage. Karage. Korean fried chicken. That's what I'm gonna go for for uh, today and tomorrow. So meal prep. So that is, I just flipped through my entire nine, nine planners. How many do I have in here? I always forget. Yes, nine planners. I have nine planners in here. I just flipped through all of them and put everything down on one piece of paper. And now I can go into my, the rest of my planners. I have, I think eight in here, seven. I think I have seven. I think, yeah, I have seven planners in here. And I used to have eight, but my relationship planner, I kind of fused that with my like, just general like social life cal uh, planner because um, I don't know, it just wasn't really like doing too much for me. My It was my boyfriend's idea to have a relationship planner. He wanted to like be, you know, in my system like that. But honestly, he wasn't really using it and I wasn't really using it. And so I'm just gonna like, I just, just kind of like uh, fused it with my just general social life calendar. He was fine with that. Okay, so the first planner that I'm here um, is my uh, my garden planner. So I do have a couple of things that I want to do in my garden. So I need to water my garden and neem oil my garden. And uh, let's see what else. I need to check the weather. I'm I'm checking the weather right now. I need to see what the weather is going to be like, uh, so I know I'm prepared. So, okay, high of 72 on Monday, partly cloudy. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is going to be sunny. Wow, we're getting up to a high of 88 and 92. We're going to have a bit of a heat wave. Friday, 93, Saturday, 83, partly cloudy, partly cloudy, Sunday, mostly cloudy. It looks like there's no rain in the forecast until maybe next week. There's a slight chance of rain next week, very small, 24%, but it seems that we're going to be pretty sunny and hot. So I'm going to make a note of that in my gardening planner. So, um, where should I put this? Uh, maybe I'll do this here. Uh, partly cloudy, 72 degrees, 78 degrees, 88, and then 92, 93. So that way I remind myself I need to, um, I need to water <laughs> for sure these couple of days. Partly cloudy, sunny, and then Friday we're going to be partly cloudy again. And then Sunday, mostly sunny. Cool. So water garden, neem oil. What else do I got to do out there? Uh, I kind of want to sow some more marigolds. So I'm going to do that. Sow some marigolds. I need to pull some weeds. Oops. Kind of wrote that backwards. Pull weeds. Okay, that's enough to do in my garden for now and then I do want to like garden plan let me do that as well so in my garden what I like to do what I'm trying to get into the habit of doing is that every Sunday I want to go out into my garden and then 
um, do some work in my garden, but also like come up with a plan for what I need to do throughout the week. So that way I'm, I, I can do like a little bit every day and on certain days. So like I can't do everything one day. So what I try to do is like give myself three to two tasks a day that I can accomplish during the weekdays when I'm really busy. So I'll make a plan. I'll go out with this planner. I'll like make a note of like what I want to do on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. Hopefully these are like, you know, five to 10 minute tasks that I can just get done. And so I'll just like map out my battle plan for my garden. So garden plan, I want to do that. And then what else? Okay, oh, moving on to my next planner. So that was my garden planner, my 10th planner. My 11th planner is my, let's see, my journal. And I look at this super cute Tiana spread I made. Uh, so cute. I do want to do some journaling. I have this whole blank page. So mm, creative journaling. I do want a creative journal awesome so that is my 11th planner and then finances oh no what's this oh this is my social planner uh, my social planner so I don't have anything going on this week until Saturday I have this cookout with my colleagues and then we have my budget planner, which I don't really need to do anything for. Like right now, my budget is like I'm on top of my budget, so that's fine. And then for um, my four lizard planner, I do want to publish my March um, flip through and then publish my April uh my april setup i need to take a thumbnail photos and then post on social media and then i need to schedule the uh spirituality plan with me gotta do that and i filmed that filmed that and I'm currently filming that and I published this well I uploaded it I just need to upload the thumbnail I gotta update this and might as well I might as well just add the box right now since I'm here anyway where's my floral sticker book uh, here it is so I'm actually publishing two videos today. So let me pull for two box stickers from this Flower Power book. And I'm publishing them today on Sunday. So let's, I'll pop these two boxes here. Excellent. And then I can just write down what they are. So this is the March flip through and then I'm gonna write down the views and then also April setup and the views right down there so then we have those set up and then that is my Ford Lizard uh, planner. Lastly, my reading challenge. I need to take a picture of um, book photo. I gotta take a picture of the last book I read, which was a life in no an episode in the life of a landscape painter. I need to print, take a photo and print it out. Probably won't print it out soon, but I need to print it out at some point so I can add it to my reading challenge and then let's see mm, reading journaling I've been pretty good about reading journaling so 
I don't really feel like I need to write it down, but uh, I wish I had just two more bullet points. That way I can write down, um, journal about, yeah, whatever. I'll just try to get to that. And then my last planner is my Japanese planner. I do want to do a Japanese lesson today, but I don't know if I'll have time. So there's that. Well, I guess this is enough to chew on for now. I have so much stuff going on here. Let's see how much I can get done. It's currently 10 in the morning. I've been filming for like the past three hours and I had breakfast, so that's good. I had coffee and yeah, this is, you know, let me make a note of, um, if I have time, I will get to reading journaling and uh, let's do this little busy, busy sticker up here. So cute. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna make a note. Um, if I have time, I will do some uh, reading journaling and Japanese journaling. So. If I have time, maybe I'll use a different color than blue for this. So I'll give myself three points. Um, reading journaling. Okay, I think that's, this is it. That's perfect. That is perfection. Okay, happy, happy with how it came out. I'm not happy unless every single square inch is taken up. So, love it. Love how it turned out. I love having me such a fun daily page. I like to save these. I'm gonna keep this out on my desk like this. And so this is a lot of stuff. It's currently 10 in the morning on Sunday, you know, maybe I, I could get everything done if like if I finished at 10 um, I could I could go all the way to 10 you know it depends on how much energy I have and whether I decide to like just go 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 or if I end up just like you know hanging out like watching tv you know you, you'll be surprised at the amount of stuff you can do if you just um try not to be perfect with everything and just keep on going just keep on don't like stop to like you know just chill don't like end up on your phone watching videos for like an hour and you can get a good amount of stuff done so we'll see um yeah so actually i think it'd be fun to like come back in at the end of the day and check in with you about what time it is and how much stuff I got done. I think that would be like cool to see like how much I can actually get done and it'll also motivate me to like get some of this stuff done. I think it's super important to like show as well like what is actually able to get done as opposed to just what you plan on doing. So this is my plan for today and it was really fun setting it up but let's see what actually happens and what actually gets done so why don't we i'll see you in a bit i'll see you in 12 hours i'll probably check in around like 9 or 10 p.m at night and i'll show you what went down what i managed to get uh taken care of and yeah i'll show you what actually happened all right i'll see you in a bit hi okay i'm back it's actually the next day it's actually monday morning right now didn't get a chance to um film last night but i finally got around to it today but this is the final like this is what i managed to get done yesterday so i set up this entire 
daily sheet. Um, you just swatch that and I just highlighted and checked it off when I was done with it. And this is what I managed to get done <laughs> yesterday. I'm really proud of what I managed to get done. Uh, there were only a couple of things that I didn't manage to get done. I didn't, I wasn't able to uh, journal in my creative journal, my creative planner. Everything else in the section I managed to get done. I was so proud of myself. And then all these things I got done. I did work out, but I didn't go on this two mile run that I wanted to go on. I just didn't have time. I did manage to do a 30 minute leg workout and a 15 minute stretch routine, but didn't manage to run. I also didn't manage to read some articles, just didn't get around to it. And I didn't do a lot of the work things that I wanted to do um, for my jobs, like grading quizzes and um, just like my teaching duties and a couple of things for this, uh, two other jo uh, job things I had to do, um, which was fine. And I also wasn't able to journal in my reading journal or my Japanese lesson and like I said I wasn't expecting to get everything done I wish I could have gotten some more work things done because that means I just have a lot more work to get to um this week but I'm glad I got a lot of like my household chores done I'm really really happy uh that yeah I got a lot of this done so I'm just gonna pop this into my um planner just because I really like how I like decorated it and everything I like holding on to my daily agenda um sheets because they're just like fun to look at and to look back on but yeah really happy with with uh how it turned out and these daily agenda pages they're so motivational for me i love them so much they're so cool uh really enjoy them and yeah i was just like go 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 all sunday just um trying to check off as many things as i could if i don't have a like a written game plan like this it's kind of hard for me to to like figure out what it is I need to get done and with this it kind of like it like helps me like focus and uh like know what I need to get done so super helpful and they're so fun to look at and it's just so satisfying to check things off I also like to highlight things as well so it so I can like doubly check them off but yeah all right everyone thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in my next video bye